look at this. I've got 1,940 subscribers in my trading group now. I want to give a few shout outs to my trading group. CBC, thank you so much. I'm up $13,000 this week. Your group's amazing. I made $47,000 in April because of your setups. You're, this person's up 2,400, 1,500, 647%. This person doubled my money after a phone call that we had uh, just yesterday. This person said, I woke up and I had 73% gains in data. Thank you. I woke up with 58% gains while I was sleeping. Another thousand dollars. That's four thousand dollars in seven days. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where everybody's calling out breakouts, posts, and charts, working together to trade this market. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading at all, nothing, you can watch these videos. You'll be making profitable trades. Number one reason why people join my trading group is I post profitable trading setups every single day, and we've been killing it. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me, cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months in crypto, you get a 20% discount. You pay for the year in crypto, you get an additional month for free and a 30% discount. If you do want to pay with a card month to month on a monthly basis, you can do so. There's a Patreon link that's in the description. This is Tezos up 72%. You can see here's the setup posted. Here's 52% out of link. Again, bought the breakout down here. Here's the setup. Here's Ethereum, 57% gains out of Ethereum. Here's the setup. Bitcoin at cash broke out 60% gain to over time. I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution, where I talk about everything crypto daily. Before we jump in the video, I want to ask you guys, smash the like button for me. Trying to get a like spike going. Thousand likes a video. That's the goal. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now's the time to do so. Jumping right into the market today in crypto. Sideways, overall market cap of cryptocurrency, $255 billion. Bitcoin at 9,200. This is the Bitcoin 12 hour chart. The bulls need to hold this lower trend line. So Bitcoin's been in this rising wedge, rising channel for you know, basically since middle of March. And still respecting this lower trend line. Now, the bulls need to show up here. They need to fight and push this price higher. A break to the downside, you know, if 9,000 breaks and 8,500, you know, potentially 6,800 is a measured move. So it'd be nice to see the bulls put in a bounce here. Let's face it, this space is so much more fun when crypto is booming. It's all about to happen. It's decision time, red circle. You got the 21 potentially crossing bearish of the 50, and these are both acting as resistance as price action hasn't been able to break above them. So it's all getting squeezed right here. We're about to see an explosion. Will it be to the upside or the downside? Keep your stops in place. Definitely don't wanna be a part of this move to the downside. You do have possible hidden bullish divergence, but this is easily negated. If there's a move to the downside, then your price action would match the indicator. This is the two hour chart and zoomed in. You do have possible bearish MACD cross down here. Almost like a little head and shoulders right here. And the price action is really close to this trend line. You know, will we see another move lower and then potentially this turns into a double bottom and then a breakout to the upside? I want to give a couple shout outs to people in my trading group. This person said, I made about $20,000 tonight alone, but I haven't slept in 18 hours trading crypto. This person stated, last three months, I'm up over $20,000. Now I'm doing this full time. It's a dream come true. Next person stated, I've been, this, I've been in the group for two months and I became a full time trader watching CBC videos and have turned this into full time income. Again, pretty amazing what we're able to accomplish in the trading group. This is COS. Again, if you don't know how to trade, you don't know how to buy breakouts, you don't know how to use stop losses or manage risk, ignore this. We go over here to Samsung's website, Samsung Blockchain, SDK, Software Developers Kits. You go down and you can see send and receive Bitcoin, Ethereum, all bunch of cryptos, Samsung. This is developer.samsung.com slash blockchain. This is it. This is mainstream adoption, baby. I love to see this, like Samsung website, Bitcoin, Ethereum. And then you go down here, scroll down. Eco Partners, Clayton, Tron, Ledger, Engine, Dent, Contentos. So if we go back here, Contentos, it's up 7.28%, but again, the chart hasn't broken out yet to the upside. So what's important here is to understand 
that you want to find a good chart and put some news behind it because retail is going to buy on the news and the bots are going to buy on the technicals. So here's where the magic happens. Uh, this is actually a six hour chart, but uh, you've got a potential golden cross coming here. So buy the breakout, baby. Listen, don't trade this if you don't know how to buy breakouts. Goldman Sachs to host call addressing Bitcoin. What? I read this. Goldman Sachs is going to host a conference call on inflation, gold, and Bitcoin. Goldman Sachs. Huge investment bank. The call is led by two members of the Goldman Sachs team, as well as a Harvard economics professor. The focus on Bitcoin represents a sea of change for the firm. Remember, so they've invited clients to a conference call regarding financial trends, says Forbes. The call is going to focus on Bitcoin, an asset that the investment bank has until now rejected. Is Goldman Sachs bullish on Bitcoin? They got to be. They're talking about it. Gold and Bitcoin. Inflation. Yes. Buy, buy, buy. Buy, buy. I'm ready. Let's go. Bull run ready. IOTX. Mainnet coming. Remember what Theta did as far as just the mainnet run-up. You know, these mainnet run-ups will even be better as this market, uh, as more retail comes into this market. You know, they really latch on to a lot of this fundamental news. But IOTX, again, there's a setup, nice setup here. Broke out previously, possible retest. But what I want you guys to notice, you got a golden cross coming here. And you're going to get all the major moving averages breaking to the upside. So you'll get a lot of bullish follow through. Right? But it's important to wait for the breakout of this level. Again, don't trade this. Just skip it. This is just for entertainment only. GVT, BTC. So I posted this setup, broke out to the upside. Got about 20% gains out of GVT. But might get a, a, a bull flag or bull pennant out of this guy if this becomes a triangle. Um you know, buy the breakout to the upside. There's another one, GNT again. The key is this, look, golden cross, red 50 MA crosses above the 200. Like there's certain things about trading this market that if you guys learn, you're gonna make exponential gains, period. Like as soon as you start to get all these bullish crosses, the price action drags these moving averages higher and you get these huge explosive moves to the upside. So, I mean, here you, you, you again, you made about 25% gains off of GNT in just a few days. So good to see these altcoins taking off. Somebody, I just want to answer this question real quick. Somebody sent me this on Twitter, said, hey, shout out to Digital Life. Oh yeah, follow me on Twitter, crypto BTC underscore Chris. I post all kinds of important information over there. So definitely check me out. But this person was just asking like, why is there this, there's no, there's a, this is XRP USDT. I'm not sure which exchange this is but there's no price action right here there's a huge gap is the gap going to get filled so the idea is there's probably some type of maintenance or uh, essentially the exchange probably went down for a short period of time this person says i've missed about five thousand shiz coin pumps since i started cryptoing listen you're gonna miss you're gonna miss so many moves in this market it's all about the retest let me show you the retest it's all about the retest. So you get this breakout. And we're talking about this today in group, but I just want to share it with you guys. You get this breakout. Well, it's not always about the breakout. It's about this move to the downside. This brings all the buyers back into the market. The bots and the buyers are sitting here waiting for the retest. I'm sitting here waiting for the retest. Other people in the groups and other people in trading, everybody's sitting here waiting because they know that when you get this pullback, that's your buy signal. And so just understanding that basic idea. It's not about buying the top. It's about buying the retest. Look at this chart. So this crypto ran up to 90 Satoshis, 90 at its peak. Did you guys miss this pump? Probably. We miss pumps all the time, right? You can't, it's not, you're not going to be able to catch all the pumps in this market. Then it retraced, pulled back. Now it's at one Satoshi. These coins do go to zero. Another thing I want to make sure you guys understand is you can go on Binance and you can sort the market. You go here, you click on market cap, and you can sort it by the smallest market cap cryptos, right? These are the easiest coins to move. Their overall market cap is in the millions of dollars, like 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million. Like these are the coins that pump. When these altcoins cycle higher, you can look at these coins and you can literally go through them. Has it pumped yet? Check it off. Has this pumped yet? Check it off. Oh, this one hasn't pumped? Then it's about to, 
right? It gets that easy. Like I think last mini alt season, there was about only two coins, three coins possibly on Binance that didn't pump. So literally it's like a, a, a checklist. You go through and just eliminate the ones that are already pumped and then you're just watching the ones that haven't pumped and they'll move at some point. Researchers claim that Zcash transactions are traceable. Down in this article basically talks about how Zcash is very well founded. Users behave in a way that does not take full advantage of the shielded pool, making them traceable. Obviously, if you have a privacy coin and it's not private, there's some concerns. The overall anonymity of ZEC ecosystem reduces as the anonymity set shrinks drastically. Doesn't sound good. Then you read here, 30% of Monero transactions are found to be traceable. Privacy coins. And again, I'm, does this affect the price of the coin? I mean, are they doing things to move forward to, to advance the technology is the question. Are they continuing to develop that? You know, this report describes Zcash as a Bitcoin fork that seeks to completely break the link between the sender and receiver. Apparently, it has not been able to do so, according to the article. Now, Zcash, what I care about is, how are we going to make money off of Zcash? Well, there's a halving in November. This is the most important. Like, everybody comes into crypto to get rich. Focus on it. Like, people kind of get stuck up in the idea, like, I have to delve into the project, and I have to figure out what the code looks like, and I have to do just understand this market's very speculative. Look for ways to make your profits. Buy the bottom, sell the top, wash, rinse, repeat. Having. So this is something. Get your calendar out right now. Write down. Zcash having is coming. Have a calendar. Put it on your whiteboard. You guys have to be organized. This is a business. We have to treat it as such. Like this is not just like let me chill in my bed and kind of trade. You're trading against the elite. You're trading against a bunch of bots, high frequency trading bots, algorithms. Uh, people that have been trading markets of some sort, traditional markets and whatnot for decades, you're trading against the elite. This is not like, hey, I'm driving down the road, like, hey, I think I'll make some trades today. They're going to take your money. They're trying to trick us. Ethereum 2.0, this is another big date you need to understand is coming. Uh, Ethereum staking is going to do a lot to help the price. Ethereum's got a lot of upside. I've talked to you guys about it quite a few, quite a few times, but in this article just talks about how there's a lot of other projects that are inching closer while ethereum essentially has postponed their ethereum uh, 2.0 launch talking about eos harmony zilliqa tezos cosmos algorand and qtum all with viable and operational products either working on peer proof of stake or delegated proof of stake but what i would say here is ethereum is like the training wheels for a lot of these projects because they i think look at how many erc20 tokens there are pages and pages and pages like just like with bitcoin like it's hard to knock off the top cryptos because e even though the smaller projects may have better technology the name recognition behind bitcoin ethereum litecoin is hard to beat chorus of crypto analysts predict the start of altcoin season as bitcoin consolidates around 9000 it would be great for bitcoin just to continue sideways for the next couple weeks these altcoins will continue to explode Master of puppets. That's exactly what Bitcoin is. I feel like with these altcoins, you always have to worry, but it's only, you, you almost have to keep two, two screens open all the time just to watch what Bitcoin's doing to know how to trade these altcoins. But what I want you guys to understand is during altcoin season, you'll get alt BTC pairs that are green and it'll be the smaller caps first. And then you get alt USDT trading pairs that are green and you get Bitcoin dominance dropping. And that's the formula that equals altcoin season but this article is actually about how bitcoin is cutting the strings of the centralized financial system centralized financial system banks if you guys like the content that i provide on a daily basis be sure to subscribe to the channel like the video comment below hit the bell for notifications thanks so much i'll see you guys tomorrow